In the world of archaeology, few discoveries are as exciting and monumental as uncovering secrets from the past that rewrite the history books. And that's exactly what happened at Cleopatra's tomb in Egypt. Join us as we delve deep into the past and uncover the shocking truth behind this discovery. Could this be the missing piece that completes the puzzle of one of history's most fascinating eras? Cleopatra was the most powerful woman in history and the final pharaoh of ancient Egypt. She was also one of the most beautiful. Despite this, her final resting site has been shrouded in mystery over all of these years. However, as a result of the efforts of a well-known Latina archaeologist, we may be getting closer and closer to locating her tomb. Dr. Kathleen Martinez has dedicated her life's work to discovering the location of the tomb of Cleopatra, the mythical queen of Egypt. Dr. Martinez was born in the Dominican Republic, and she first showed an interest in archaeology when she was very young. Her father, the professor and legal scholar Fausto Martinez, held a large private library. She used to study on the topic that would go on to become her primary interest, Egypt and the last days of Cleopatra. Her father was a legal scholar. Her mother's family hails from both France and England. Despite the fact that she had a strong interest in Egypt as a youngster, Martin has decided to pursue a profession in law instead. My mother and father always discouraged me from pursuing a career in archaeology, telling me that I would never find a respectable position in the field and that I would not be able to earn enough money to support myself doing so. They were successful in persuading me, she said in a few of her interviews. She followed in her father's footsteps and got a degree in law at the Universidad Nacional Pedro Henriquez Urena. In addition, she earned a bachelor's degree in English from Brown University in the United States. She received her degree at the age of 19, and then she started working as a lawyer. She also has a master's degree in archaeology and a master's degree in finance. She has become one of the most well-known archaeologists in the world because of the enthusiasm she has always had for the field and the commitment she has always shown to her job. The exhibition 10 Years of Dominican Archaeology in Egypt was opened on April 18, 2018 at the Cairo Museum. It showcased the developments, accomplishments, and more than 350 architectural features uncovered by Martinez from the Ptolemaic period. The objects provide a record of the day-to-day -day life, administrative and religious activities, as well as royal and social responsibilities that evolved towards the conclusion of the Ptolemaic era. The exhibition focused on the first significant contribution made by Latin America to the field of Egyptology. The so-called Great Steel is the most important artifact. It contains a decree from Pharaoh Ptolemy V that reveals the date of the temple's construction to be between 221 and 203 BCE. According to Martins, this edict demonstrates the significance of the religious structure that was devoted to the goddess Isis. The Dominican woman first started looking for Cleopatra's grave in 2004 when she saw a statue of the queen at the temple of Tapoziris Magna, which is situated around 45 kilometers west of Alexandria. It is generally accepted that construction of the temple took place during the time of King Ptolemy II, who was Cleopatra's ancestor. Since then, the group led by Dr. Martinez has been conducting excavations at the site in the hope of finding more hints about the positioning of Cleopatra's tomb. Dr. Martinez's work has brought her into communication with a number of leading authorities in the area of archaeology due to the fact that the hunt for Cleopatra's tomb has been going on for a number of years now. She has gained a greater grasp of the site and its history by consulting with geologists, historians, and other archaeologists. Her goal was to uncover more information about the past of the location. Dr. Martinez has done excavation work at a number of different locations in Egypt, including the Valley of the Kings and the Temple of Isis, in addition to her work at the Temple of Tapoziris Magna. Her most recent project was at the Temple of Tapoziris Magna. Her work resulted in the uncovering of a number of significant artifacts, one of which being an extensive collection of coins dating back to the time of Cleopatra. The research conducted by Dr. Martinez is significant not only due to the possibility that it may result in the location of Cleopatra's tomb, but also due to the fact that it elucidates the history and culture of ancient Egypt. Underneath a temple in the once great city of Tapoziris Magna, which is now a ruin on the coast of Egypt, 
Archaeologists uncovered a massive and magnificent tunnel that has been dubbed a geometric miracle. This tunnel was discovered in the ruins of the city. This information was disseminated through social media platforms by the Egyptian Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities. They said that the building was discovered 13 meters below the surface, and that it was discovered by Kathleen Martinez of the University of Santo Domingo in the Dominican Republic and colleagues during continuing excavations and study of the temple. According to Live Science, Ms. Martinez, who has been working at Taposiris Magna since 2004 in quest of the undiscovered tomb of Cleopatra VII, thinks that the tunnel might be a potential lead. This information comes from Ms. Martinez's belief that the tunnel could be a viable lead. In an interview with National Geographic, Ms. Martinez discussed her belief that the tunnel may lead her to the grave of Cleopatra, the Egyptian queen, and Mark Antony, the queen's lover. The archaeologist from the Dominican Republic admitted that there is just a 1% chance that this would occur, but emphasized that even if it did, it would still be the most important discovery of the century. Even though the tombs of many famous historical rulers are still standing today, for instance, the mausoleum of Augustus in Rome, who was Antony and Cleopatra's mortal enemy. The contents of the tombs have frequently been looted and lost over the course of several centuries. The tomb of Philip Hugh of Macedon, who was Alexander the Great's father and was discovered in Virginia in the late 1970s, stands out as a significant exception to this rule. The discovery of the tomb in its entirety has made it possible for decades of research to be conducted on its contents which has contributed to an expansion of our knowledge about members of the Macedonian royal family and their court. The same thing would be true in the event that Cleopatra's tomb was uncovered and it was determined to be complete. Egyptologists, classicists, ancient historians, and archaeologists would be able to derive an enormous amount of fresh knowledge from the contents of it. The majority of what we know about Cleopatra and her reign comes from ancient Greek and Roman literary sources. These texts were produced long after the Egyptian queen's death and were generally unfavorable toward her. We do not have a lot of material that reveals the viewpoint of the Egyptians on Cleopatra, but the information that we do have, such as honorific reliefs on the temples that she erected and votives offered by her people, provides us a totally different understanding of who she was. To this day, the grave of any other Ptolemaic emperor has not been discovered. It has been stated that they were all located in the palace area of Alexandria, and it is assumed that they have all been submerged along with the rest of that section of the city. The architectural and material contents of the tomb alone would be enough to keep historians busy for decades, and they would reveal an incredible amount of knowledge on the Ptolemaic royal worship and the merger of Macedonian and Egyptian culture. But if Cleopatra's remains were also found there, they could tell us a great deal more, such as the reason for her death, her physical appearance, and even provide an answer to the difficult question of whether or not she was of African or European descent. Should we have any hope of finding Cleopatra's remains and conducting an examination on them? From the time of Tutankhamun all the way down to the common ancient Egyptians, whose mummies have been unearthed over the course of the ages, there is a lengthy history of poor administration and poor treatment of the ancient Egyptians. Even though the time has mercifully passed since Victorian dinner parties featured the unwrapping of mummies as a form of entertainment, those who work in heritage are increasingly raising concerns about the appropriate treatment of our ancestors. Thank you for joining us on this thrilling journey into the heart of ancient Egypt. The discovery at Cleopatra's tomb promises to rewrite history and challenge our understanding of this iconic queen. Stay tuned for more incredible discoveries as we continue to uncover the secrets of the past.